Aloha and welcome to this live stream. My name is David coming to you live from Lemuria. The ancient mountaintops of Lemuria are the Hawaiian Islands. So happy to be here with you. Today, today I want to talk about dealing with the complexities and challenges of daily life. I know if you spend any time just thinking about the craziness that's going around the world, or if you spend any time watching or reading the news, which I don't recommend by the, uh, by the way, but if you do, it seems that life is getting more complicated and challenging all the time. So I want to talk a little bit about that today, give you some thoughts to maybe ease that process and think about these challenges a little bit differently. Many years ago, I was working studying with a wise master, and he would sometimes remind me, he'd say, David, the journey is as complicated as you make it. And what he was reminding me of in those times was that any journey from A to B, from where you are now and where you would like to be, anywhere in that journey, it is a choice how simple or complicated, how easy or difficult that journey is. It's all a choice. There's nothing written in the universe that says your journey to creating a business or healing a relationship or healing something physical in your, in your body it needs to be complicated. It's as simple or as complicated as we choose to make it. And I still, I have to remind myself of these truths sometimes because as my wife <laughs> will tell you, I tend to make things more complicated. Now I'm much better than I used to be, but still I catch myself or she'll help me catch myself when I'm trying to make things too complex. And often it just takes a step back and getting some clarity and saying, oh, okay, this is not as difficult or as challenging um, as I thought. And I, and I don't have to go out of my way to make this situation or this project more complicated than it needs to be. And I think there are three, well, at least today, I want to share three areas in our lives where we tend to make, or reasons why we tend to make things more complicated than, than they need to be. And the first is I think most of us are hardwired to be problem solvers. We're trained to solve problems. You know, we're not trained, and I think I've talked about this in previous videos, but we're not trained to look for the easy path. We're not trained to look and focus on solutions. <clears throat> no, we're taught to focus on problems. Life is a problem or a series of problems that needs to be solved. And so we get trained early on in problem solving, or at least most of us do. And we take this approach into everything. We just kind of automatically assume something new or something we haven't achieved before is going to be difficult or complicated. And just that assumption starts to make it so. Remember, the universe gives you what you expect. Without judgment, it's like if you expect it to be complicated, then we can make it as complicated as you'd like. And I remember, I'll just give an example. I remember years ago, I have a buddy, Mike from MIT, who wrote to me and said, hey, I'm interested in learning meditation. Are there any books or courses that you can recommend? I wrote back a very short email and said, hey, you're in luck. Welcome to David's School of Meditation. All you do is find a quiet, comfortable place, close your eyes, and focus your attention on the rhythm of your breathing and do your best to quiet your mind. And just practice this a little every day. And the key is don't judge each meditation. Just commit to the practice and you will learn how to meditate. And he wrote back to me and said, hey, do you know who you're talking to? I went to MIT. I need a heavy textbook and a bunch of problem-solving homework to get anywhere with this. Now, 
I obviously he was he was joking, but in that joke he pointed out an assumption that so many of us make that when there's something new, or we kind of are daunted by it because we don't understand it yet or we haven't experienced it, we assume it's going to be a problem. We assume it's going to take a lot of work, and it, it needs to be complicated. But going back to the words of of my master friend, he said the journey is as complicated as you make it. Now, another area, I think, in our daily life where we tend to make things more complicated without, usually without realizing it, is that we take into account what people will think about us. Well, if I do this and I do this, what will this person think? How will this person react? How will this group treat me if, if I do this thing or if I take this approach? And just by taking into account all of these others' points of view that we're just assuming they're going to have or reaction they're going to have, all of these assumptions, now before we've even made a decision or made a choice, we're already making everything so complicated because we're not just listening to our heart or connecting with our own higher self to make a choice and make a decision. We're taking all of these other potential opinions into, into account. And it just, because all of this is happening in our, in our thoughts, it just becomes, it becomes a, a nest of complication that we don't need to impose on ourselves. But we do it because often there's a part of us that is, that's worried about how other people will think. And the third realm that I thought I'd point out today is that when we're making a decision to do something, again, in our journey from A to B, right? It can be as simple or as complex as we make it. Many of us wanna be helpful. We wanna be kind. We're, we're, you know, we're trained to, with the belief that, oh, if someone asks for your help or asks for something, if you have the capacity to do it, you should say yes, because that's what a good person does. That's what a kind person does. If you consider yourself to be kind and helpful, then it would be a good thing for you to satisfy that request. And that is so often not the case. Now, it's one thing to be helpful, and I know all of us would love to find ways that we can help other people when we can. But oftentimes, just because someone asked, we assume that we need to satisfy that request. And in doing so, we complicate our own lives because we're not listening to our heart. We're not lined up with our own wise, eternal, higher self who's guiding us down the shortest, most comfortable path possible. No, we're immediately complicating things because we've said, yes, yes, okay, yes. And there's just a couple of examples that have come up in my life recently. Um, I've got something out on the internet um, to help. It's a free download that helps people uh, kind of reconnect with their Lemurian roots. If this is something new to them or, you know, they're looking to, you know, find some validation for that connection. Maybe some of you have had this and downloaded it, but I've had messages from people saying, hey, how come this is only in English? Why don't you translate it into this language or that language? And I could do that, but right now my primary audience, and I have my hands full just dealing with my English speaking audience, I don't have the time to say, oh yeah, I'll translate these for you. Because if I do that, then they're gonna want the next thing translated and the next thing translated, and, and it's gonna be never ending just because I said yes to that, to that first thing, which, is not a priority right now. I'd love someday to be able to provide things in, in so many different languages, but I want to make sure that I can do so when the translation is of a quality that I want it to be and that, that my, my business can support people in, in other languages and I have people helping me. Um, so we can do things. We can say yes to so many things, but if it really is not serving our highest good, 
but actually, you know, becomes a distraction or taking off us off a path or, um, you know, adding extra work or burden just because someone asked, not because it serves a larger purpose that, that we can support, then we're complicating our lives unnecessarily. So I just wanted to plant those seeds today to look at these areas of your life, whether you're assuming or approaching everything from a problem solving perspective or assuming that things are going to be difficult from the get go, or you catch yourself and say, oh, wait a minute, this is about me and what I want to do. I don't need to take everybody else's op potential opinions into account. I, I'm complicating my thoughts even in just making a choice. Or you're just automatically saying yes to something because you can do it rather than this is a good thing for you to do from a larger perspective. So be gentle with yourself. Just setting your intention to become more aware makes it easier to catch yourself doing these things and don't beat yourself up. You just go, oh, okay, I'm doing that thing again. I'm gonna take a breath, refocus, and do my best to think a little bit differently in these situations. And even if you recognize something in retrospect and you think, oh, that thing I did last week when my, my, my friend asked me to do this, I could have said no, and that would have made life easier for me and really wouldn't have been damaging to the other person. I could have said no, and that would have made things easier. You know, just become more aware. Accept it and say, oh, from now on, I'm going to be more aware. Therefore, I'm going to make things easier for myself. So remember, the journey is as complicated as you make it. In that journey from A to B, whatever it is, creating something, changing some aspect of your life, accomplishing some kind of healing in your body or in a relationship or you know, your relationship to another person or your relationship with money, whatever it is, don't make it more complicated than it needs to be. Ask your higher self for guidance. Slow down and ask your heart, okay, what's the simplest path for me? in this situation. Your heart has that wisdom. Your higher self wants you to find the easiest joyful path to what you want. So use those resources. It doesn't have to be complicated. Life doesn't have to be hard. It's all a choice. Well, I'd love to have your feedback about what I've shared today. You know, please leave a comment below. I, I would really love to hear from you. Does this resonate with you? Any thoughts on these topics? Do you have an example where you've caught yourself and go, oh yeah, I tend to do this. I'd love to hear from you in the comments. But until next time, I'm going to be envisioning an easy and joyful path for you. And until next time, I'm going to send you my love and light from Lemuria. We'll see you next time. Aloha. Thanks for being here.